Hey, I'm going to show how iteration works in Power BI. I'm going to use a calculated column and a measure for this. Iteration is the process where a text calculation goes row by row and performing an operation in each row. It uses the row context, which is basically a row identifier which tells Power BI where to calculate. So iteration happens every time when there is a row context, which is automatic in calculated columns and the measures you have to use an iterator for that, such as the X functions like SumX, AverageX, MaxX, or some other functions as well like filter or add columns. I made a table with the top 10 IMDB movies and I'm going to calculate their profits which is the gross worldwide minus the budget. In a calculated column, we will use CPU subtraction. And you can see the values, it went row by row and gave the correct result. Gross worldwide minus budget. If you want to do the same thing in a measure, I'm gonna copy this and go to the report view, create a measure. It throws back an error, which is, I'm just gonna pull it here. So it says that you need to use an aggregation. An aggregator is like some average max. That's the same as an iterator, but a more simple form. It says basically that you need to use an aggregator where there are multiple values because Power BI doesn't know where to calculate these things. So let's use a SumX. And the first parameter is a table or a table expression. We give the IMDB top 10. Yeah, IMDB top 10 and the second parameter is the expression, the calculation itself. I'm gonna copy paste it. And let's see. Now it has fixed the problem and as you can see, we got the same values here. All the iterators work the same way, all the X functions. In the first step, they evaluate the first parameter, which is the table so it says okay i'm going to work in this table and then it creates a row context so it identifies which rows to iterate and after that it performs the calculation which is the second parameter iterating so doing this performing row by row and then in the fourth step it aggregates all the values so what we see here, normally we would get an aggregated value, but here the titles, the visual is filtering the result. That's the filter context, part of the filter context. If we put this same calculation in a calculated column, you will see how it aggregates. Because here in the data view on the table, there is no filter context from the visual. A new column, profit some X column, Hit enter, and then you see what did it do. So it went row by row, added all the values, what you see here, but then in the fourth step, because it's an iterator function, it aggregated all of them and returned in all the rows the same value because of this. How you can uh, change it if you, for some reason, want to use this in a column, you can use calculate for that. And as you can see, it fixes the problem. This is because calculate is a special function and it uses context transition, which is 
turning I see it. So it's gone. Sorry. <laughs> so which is turning the row context in a filter context. So in every row it takes all the values and creates a filter from it and iterates only this single row. So first it makes the context transition and then it executes the operation which is this and then with that in every row you get the correct result but normally whenever you can it's better to use measures it's also better performance wise so this is it i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and bye